Okay, and the beauty of this, of course, is that now that we've actually got a polynomial, we can do our normal things we can do with a polynomial. So, for example, we can find the slope at a particular point, because as we all know, the slope is given by the derivative. Okay, so as long as we can differentiate the function, which shouldn't be too hard looking at the function we've got here, and then we can work out the slope. So if we differentiate that function, if dash of x, well, the 17.95 goes away, uh, so get 0 0.027 plus 2 lots of 0 0.01 0 0.00288x minus 0 0.00, how many zeros are on that thing? 5, 4, 5, and 3 lots of 267 is 801x squared. Okay, so that's the uh, derivative. And again, our pivot point is 30, so we're trying to find the value um, when x equals 55, and that'll work okay because the data we're working with has got steps of 50, so 55 is certainly still in that first uh, range. And so all we need to do now is bung 55 into here, so f dash of 55, so the slope when x is equal to 55 will be 0 0.027 plus 0 0.0288 lots of 50 minus 2345801 lots of 50 squared, which equals 0 0.161 um, meters per meter in this case, as the, uh, in the units, because it's going both the x and the y axis are being measured in, in meters. So it's got a slope of um, 0 0.161 slope of the hill at that point.